Hello, my friends. My name is Drake and this is Touching the Edge and this is the Choosing to Thrive series. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you today and I'm so happy because I am working to continue to focus my own energy towards thriving and it's so helpful to me to know that others are doing that as well. So uh, again, I'm choosing to focus in thriving and the framing I would like to, to, to uh, offer you today is that old statement. Have you heard this before? When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Well, I think it's also true that when the teacher is ready, the student will appear. You know, as above, so below. So when the teacher is ready, the student will appear. Now, I would like to suggest to you that most of us are looking for someone to be that for us, to be that teacher. But what I'm suggesting is that you are both the student and the teacher. You are your own student and your own teacher. And what I, what I work with people is being a student without a teacher. You know, To me, a teacher is so often caught up in the cult of personality, being so devoted to this person that you are enamored with, their charisma, their wisdom. But the truth is, the real relationship to the ultimate, the real relationship to the, the divine is in your relationship directly with life. You know, as the Sufis used to say, God is closer to you than your jugular vein. There is no one that can get in between you and life itself. And so my suggestion is, is that by learning to calm down, by learning to slow down, by learning to soothe our, our nervous system each and every day, and by focusing in positive thought structures, you know, looking for what you're grateful for, you will be both your own teacher and your own student. So let's say yes to life today. Let's say yes to releasing judgment for what is the, the dimensions and the circumstances of our life. Let's both be the student and the teacher for our own selves. So, you know, moving towards thriving, focusing on, on those areas that you're moving towards. You're going to be much stronger if you're moving towards a positive possibility that you're in control of. My first week was in judgment. The second week, this week, is in family. I'm focusing on doing things with my family and connecting with those familial relationships. What are you working on? What are you working to improve? Remember, it only takes improvement. If you improve, you can change everything just by improving a little bit. I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to ask you to listen carefully. Here we go. So learn how to slow down. Learn how to be in contact with subtlety, which is your own true authenticity, and you will both be the student and the teacher of your own life. And then you will be saying yes to life rather than always holding back. I bring my hands into prayer position and I bow to you because we are here to learn from each other. Namaste. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day today.